Obviously, he would play for the Bears, right? He's from Chi-Town. He loves Bears. I mean, look at his album covers. Graduation, late registration, college dropout. The bear symbolizes the pursuit of happiness and living life by Kanye's terms, not by societal standards. Another reason I love Kanye, he's red-pilled. Kanye would design an offense never before seen in the history of the NFL. And you as a fan at home can pop in an earpiece and hear every single word Kanye says during the game. You could hear every single play he calls for a price of $5,000 per week. Kanye would demand complete creative control over the Bears uniforms. He'd have them in Yeezy cleats, fur-themed jerseys, ripped down the sides. He'd bust out pink polos and backpacks as alternate jerseys. He'd tell the NFL world, all the fans, that it's the best quality NFL jersey imported straight from Sweden. Immediately after the game, he would auction his jerseys off, starting at 20 k with new themes coming in each and every week. Kanye would throw the football like this, so the Bears aren't going to win a game, but they will be the most popular team in the league by far. And Kanye's jersey would easily be the number one selling, maybe in all the sports. The thing is, he would change his number every week and consider the old number out of style, and people would buy into it. Kanye would walk up to Tom Brady, giving his Hall of Fame speech, snatch the mic, and say Aaron Rodgers is the best to ever do it. He'd change the Hall of Fame gold jacket to a skin-tight leather suit. He'd somehow convince the world that his one career touchdown pass is enough to get him inducted into the Hall of Fame because he changed the way the game is played forever, never before seen. He probably sacrificed Pete Davidson for the 2023 Super Bowl halftime show. Hey, you guys think this is crazy? Well, we're talking about a guy who ran for president. So you never know the dude can do anything. And to be honest, he might be an upgrade from Justin Fields. <laughs>